Hey guys, so I'm just gonna show you one trick from the field. Every now and then when you're pressure testing, you might see a setup like this where you have your suction lines here. So we got our skimmer and our main drain. And we've got these old valves that we can take the lids off and pressure test that way if we need to, which is no problem. But if you take a look at the return line here, it's coming straight out of this filter and we've got no kind of valve. So typically, if there's a jammy valve, you can remove the lid, like I said, you can get your pressure testing plug in there and just inject, no problem. But when this happens, you only have two options really. One is either snapping the line and then injecting straight into the pipe that way. Uh, but then, then you have to keep couplings and different kind of plumbing components and glue and all that on the back of your truck as well, in addition to your leaking detection equipment. And not all guys always carry that with them. So you can either snap this line or you can do what I'm doing right now, which is removing the lid for your, your pull pump and injecting into the back of the pump here. So if you look at my pressure testing plug, I know you're probably not gonna be able to see it, but we've got a port where the water is typically getting forced through the pump into the filter. I'm injecting straight there. So my injection and my pressure is going through this feed line, through the filter, through the return line and to the pole. If you take a look at our pressure gauge, we've been sitting right at about 12 and a half PSI for three minutes now. Um, and so this is your easiest option most likely this doesn't always work um, and typically when i do this i'm not going to build the pressure all the way up to about 215 psi i'm only going to go to about 12 or 12 and a half because a lot of times your injector plug is going to pop out of here your other option too as well is you have these compression fittings you can undo these so undo this one here on top of your pump undo this one in front of the pump you can just slide your pump out of the way um, and i typically would have done that today um, but I left my channel locks at home and these fittings are actually on here really tight. So I don't have a way to get those undone. So that's why I'm injecting in the back of the pump. But if you're in the field and you find that you have a return line where there is no way for you to, to inject straight into the return line, you have a couple options right here.